What is up YouTube? This is yours truly, Anthony Ray, coming at you guys with another video. And before we go in, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And today we're going to be doing another uh, shotgun ta pattern testing video. And today we are going to be patterning some of this Monarch double lock buckshot. Um, it's going to be high velocity lead shot. And this is going to be at 1345 feet per second, two and a three quarter, 12 gauge. And again, this is nine pellet double lock buckshot. And this is going to be a look at the shell. It's going to be an orange shell, has a clear top there. Pretty neat. You can see the double lock buckshot there at the top. Uh, doesn't have any special wad or any cup in there. It will probably just have sits in a cup, but no special wadding or anything like that. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this out and shoot about three targets at various uh, distances um, to see if this is a contender for my home defense, you know, rotation. You know, before you use anything for home defense, because home defense is, you know, the, you know, that's the ammo that you're actually going to use to depend on your life with. So I recommend that you go out and test it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out in the field and test this and see if it is a viable option for home defense for my situation. So let's go out and get out in the field because I don't want to do all the yapping. We'll go ahead and get right to it. Uh, we're, going to go, we're going to actually do the test outside and also want to let you know we're going to be using the world famous Malsberg 5981 12 gauge smooth cylinder bore. And it's a 20 inch barrel. So we're going to use the Mossberg 590A1. But we're going to do this um, presentation outdoors because uh, it's a beautiful day out there. That is very, very hot. And guys, make sure you stay hydrated because my nephew uh, lost one of his close friends due to dehydration playing basketball here in uh, North Georgia during, you know, during the summer months. And he played ball and basically had a heat stroke and passed away. So condolences to his family. But let's go ahead and get this uh, party started. Stand by. Um, not very good in my opinion. And this is going to be a final target and this is going to be a 15 yarder. And again, if you want to do yards, just, uh, times it by three and that's how you get your footage. But as you can see, it's a, a pretty wide target, but at 15 yards, that's not going to be home defense, uh, for me. So that's not going to be an issue. Uh, my home defense would be more like the 21 foot here and that's still... Uh, can be a danger because you have a stray, I mean, a, a wide stray. And again, um, you know, you're responsible for every projectile that goes down range. If it was number four buckshot, I wouldn't be as worried about over penetration, but that is definitely a concern. That ninth pellet that they always talk about in double lock buckshot. And again, we're going to go back over um, to the 10 yard target. So that's seven yards again, 10 yards. And again, that's going to be your 15 yard target. Look at it one more time. And as you can see, each and every last one of them have a flyer somewhere. But let's go back down to the round table and we'll go ahead and get the verdict. Stand by. All right, you two, this is the moment of proof, judgment day. So based on, you know, what I saw here, um, I would say no to this buckshot because um, the spread is too volatile for me. I don't like the way it patterns. Uh, it may be good enough for someone else, but you know, it, it you know, for you, it depends on your uh, home defense situation. But in my uh, case, I'd want something a little bit more controlled. And this round seems to not be as in control as I would like it. So I would uh, definitely not do this for home defense. I can't say for you, but for me, I give this a thumbs down. 
Um, it's just pretty much all over the place, and I'm just not impressed with the patterns that I saw out of it, out of, you know, the specific shotgun. You know, maybe if you change chokes, you know, that may help, but, you know, I can just use flight control, you know, or the Hornady critical uh, duty and basically not need a choke. But this is just for home defense. Uh, I'm not hunting or anything like that. And again, my home defense range is going to be anywhere between 20 to 25 feet away. Uh, I don't plan on clearing any rooms, but, you know, I still have to account for anything that comes out the barrel. And I know it's just me and my wife, but I do have neighbors and double lock buckshot does penetrate more than standard buckshot. Like, let's say, number one or number four buckshot. You know, it's just, a, you know, it's going to be bigger. The only thing that's bigger is going to be triple lock buckshot or a slug. So um, any straight pellets have to be accounted for. And it's just very very wild even at you know seven yards at seven yards it should be much tighter but in my opinion um, i would uh, give it a no um, but that is pretty much all i have i don't want to uh, give you guys too much jibba jabba um, but thank you guys for watching um, i will come at you guys with more and more content like always 2a up the second amendment shall not be infringed have an awesome day